We're taking a live look right now just outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where former President Trump is expected to hold a rally. He is drumming up support for Republican U.S. Senate candidate Dr. Oz, but that's not the only support he's getting. J.D. Vance, who won the Ohio Senate primary, just walked on stage moments ago. You're looking at him speak right now. A winner in Trump's book of endorsements is uh, this primary season. Vance crossed the finish line in Ohio with 32 percent of the vote in a crowded field of candidates. And as we look at Pennsylvania, Trump still has a firm grip on voters there with his approval rating at 77 percent. Could he score again in the primary? Al Weaver from our partners at The Hill joins us now live. Welcome. So there was a question for a time about whether a Trump endorsement would help or hurt Republican candidates. And we seem to have an answer. Oh, we most certainly do. I mean, I, after the Ohio race the other night, I, I pinged a couple of sources and one of them, my Ohio, Ohio, an Ohio Republican source, I, I basically asked, just what are your takeaways from tonight? And, and in essence, he told me Trump still matters, and that was really all that that anyone cared about to a point in that race. I mean, he lifted JD Vance from uh, from anywhere between 10 to 12 percent, depending who you ask, all the way up to the low 30s, and uh, toppled a pretty formidable field. So, the president's endorsement still matters. It's all why everyone in that race wanted it. It's why everyone else in the Pennsylvania Senate race wanted it, and the governor's race wants it, and state and races across the country for the most part. It's why they still want it, because he almost, he virtually, to a point, guarantees victory. Still controls the Republican Party. And obviously, these races are a roadmap not only for Republicans, right, but also there are a huge gauge for Democrats about what matters to voters, whether their priorities yeah. have changed over the past couple of years. So what are the hot button issues uh, on both sides of the aisle? What are they going to be focused on? Is it going to be less culture war issues and more about economic issues now? Well, it depends on who you ask, I think. I mean, to the left right now, Obviously, the discussions about abortion and reproductive rights and that type of thing. Um, but whether, you know, and, and obviously that's going to matter for the coming months, you know, as we have this uh, the decision coming down from the Supreme Court in a couple of months. And then but on the right, you also, they, they are hammering economic issues. They are hammering the border issues. Uh, House uh, Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy recently went down to the border, made a big point of, uh, they make a big point of talking up those issues. But, and I, but I always think it comes back to the kitchen table issues is, uh, you know, inflation is still sky high. Unemployment numbers are good, but the rest of the economy is not where the Biden administration wants it to be right now. And I think the left knows that to a degree. So uh, Pennsylvania's primary is May 17th. We're still several weeks out. Dr. Oz is slightly trailing in the polls. And despite Trump's backing, will J.D. Vance's appearance, which we're seeing right now, do anything mm -hmm. uh, for Dr. Oz since he won the nomination in Ohio? I'm not sure about that. I'm, I'm skeptical that, that someone from out of state, on the, uh, outside, someone outside of the president, of course, uh, could come in and tell Pennsylvanians and, and uh, to, you know, this is the way you should go and that type of thing. So I'm skeptical with J.D. Vance, but the president's endorsement really seemed to matter for us. I, I went out on the trail with him a couple of weeks ago out to Bucks County outside of uh, Philadelphia. And the effect was really stark. I mean, you had a lot of people at, the, at an event out there who basically said, I'm, I'm here because the president endorsed you and I want to hear what you have to say. But you also have folks on the other, on, on the, on the other side of the dial who tell Dr. Oz, I'm still skeptical of you. I know you held, used to hold positions on abortion and guns on X, Y, and Z that are contrary to what you had. So he's facing a bit of an issue right now, and that's up to him and the president, to, the former president to a degree to, uh, to figure that out for him. All right. Always interesting. Al, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.